Hello, I'm going to demonstrate how to load PortaPak firmware onto your HackRF so that you can use your PortaPak. To start off with, we will be using, uh, starting with the product page for the PortaPak, which has a link at the bottom that says support. That will take you to the wiki page for the project where there is a link that says installing or updating firmware using Windows. So we'll click that. And now we need to download the, um, the firmware tool. So there's a link here that says download and run the PortaPak firmware tool uh, from the releases page. So we'll click there. And now we're on the releases page. The one at the top of the page is the most recent release. So we'll download that one, the EXE, because we're doing Windows here. Uh, it wants to know what we want to do with the EXE, so we will say run it and it's downloading and in a moment we will get a security warning okay here we come here we come any day now there we are so do we want to allow this app to make changes on our device yes now the installer begins uh, we will click Agree to agree to the GNU public license, which is how the software is released. And we will get a couple of questions about whether we want to install software for this device. Uh, we want to always trust software from ShareBrain technology. I'm trustworthy, I swear. So we'll hit Install. It's going to ask us again. Oh, maybe it's not. Sometimes it asks twice. And now we'll close the window and we've got the tools installed. So my recommended way of installing uh, the firmware onto the HackRF is a two-step process. First you put the HackRF into DFU mode. And we'll do that by taking the HackRF PortaPak assembly. And I'm going to hold down the DFU button, which is the blue button closest to the antenna uh, connector. So I'm going to hold that down and then I'm going to connect USB power as soon as I can get, the, there we go, okay. So I'm still holding down the button. I've plugged in the power and I'm gonna let go of the button. Okay, so now the HackRF is in DFU mode. And you can see there's, we've got just one LED that's brightly lit and that's the 3.3 volt power light. So I'm gonna go over to Windows here and type in DFU and we see that there's an app called HackRF mode via DFU we want to run that. And what it will do is, uh, and you don't have to follow, uh, read the instructions because I'm explaining basically what, what they say. Um, all we need to do is hit return at this point and we'll see the LEDs on the HackRF turn on, the yellow, red, and then the green light will turn on. And you can see on the screen that um, some firmware has been downloaded into the RAM on the HackRF. So the HackRF now has firmware running in its RAM. So if you turn it off, you know, it'll, it'll forget that. So that's the first part of this, the process is getting the HackRF to be running in this mode. Uh, I'll hit return to make this go away. And now we will do port pack Yeah, there it is. Uh, there's a app called Flash port pack firmware. So let's choose that. And we'll press return you'll see it identifies one HackRF is present, and then it writes the firmware to the SPI flash, and then it says it's finished. We can press any key to continue, and now if we unplug and replug the HackRF power, you'll see it boots up, and now it's running the PortaPak firmware.